Looks like it's flyby time with our good old Whirlybird. It's nice that we're going to take some time to tell a story about him. Harold may not often be a main character, but he is important to Top Hat's Railway either way. And today was a more significant day than usual. One sunny morning, the engines were busy preparing for the vicar's annual garden party. I'd like to help, called Harold, but I'm on patrol. Hey, check out that music! Like I've said before, the secondary themes won't match the originals, but this is a good runner-up. So, a garden party, hmm? Seeing that Trevor's there, I'm happy to see this event has been going strong since Edward, Trevor, and the really useful party from Season 3. Nice. Percy was even kind enough to invite Harold. Don't forget to come to the vicar's party! Thanks for the invitation! But duty calls! And he whirred away. Harold was landing at his airfield to get more fuel when he saw Pegasus, the cart horse that lives close by. Ooh, a horse. That's probably the biggest animal we've seen on this show after remembering the cow and a couple bulls from past seasons. And whoa, a triple whammy. Tiger Moth, Butch, and Sodor Fire are all at Dry Aw Station. It's almost like Top Hat's planning something. Like a search and rescue center. Nah, too soon. Anyway, Pegasus was being prepped to meet the kids at the party. Something Harold wanted to do as well. Thomas puffed in with some passengers. Where are you going next? Buzzed Harold. To the vicar's party, of course. Everyone's going. Everyone except me, replied Harold. I'm on duty. Yes, indeed, said Thomas kindly. Aw, for once Harold's not talking about how grand he is and how high he flies. Now he actually wants to partake in some rather, dare I say it, grounded events. I know, moving on. Really though, that stinks. Harold sounds like he genuinely cares for this event, but at least Thomas understands his importance. Because not long after that, there was breaking news. Harold's pilot received an urgent call from Sir Topham Hatt. Pegasus is stuck in a ditch. You must rescue him at once. All set and ready for action, reported Harold. <laughs> nice emphasis there, Brandon. You must rescue him. Yeah, well, who else is going to do it? Also, Brandon's voice given to Harold is fair enough. It has the right amount of pep for the character, and thankfully not snobby. Although Percy didn't understand what a Pegasus was, which Top Hat sort of briefed him on. Percy didn't buy it. Harold flew to the rescue as fast as he could. What happened? He asked Thomas. We were loading the cart. Pegasus wandered off into the ditch, silly horse. Silly indeed. Maybe Pegasus never wanted to go to the party. And what would be a big deal if he didn't? I thought Trevor was supposed to be the main attraction. Yes, I know. My puns are bad today. But I did say that once before. Anyway, Harold decided to take Pegasus by sling to the party. That must have been an interesting view. Soon, Harold's pilot had fitted Harold's sling under Pegasus. Then Harold gently lifted him into the air and carefully carried him across the fields. When Percy saw Pegasus flying through the sky, he was amazed. I'm sure, being that he didn't consider a Pegasus could exist. I just want to understand Percy's thoughts, though. Does he actually believe Pegasus is a Pegasus? Or does he know Pegasus is being carried by Harold? It seems kind of obvious. No matter, Harold got Pegasus to the party and everything worked out A-OK. -okay. The party was a big success, and the children had a wonderful time. Harold was happy. He'd stayed on duty and had fun at the party, too. 
awesome. Seeing Harold getting what he wanted to do was gratifying to see. Being that he's not meant to head many stories, some development here and there is appreciated. And this is a good example of that. Harold has always remained friendly. Just sometimes he comes across a little too into himself. I guess he's finally beginning to feel a little lonely since there are no other talking aerial vehicles in the sky. He's just not acting like he used to, so it seems. The voice Brandon gives him is also likable. It's not annoying or overdone either. For set pieces, we see a few different places like Sudry Castle, Maithwaite Station, and Dryaw Station. The spot where it seems Top Hat wants all his emergency personnel stationed at. Music was also charming. We all remember what Harold's original cue was, but here it's not bad. The new theme has a march to it, and it works for the scenes at hand. Next episode is the grand opening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.